everybody and welcome to my channel i am so excited to film this video and it is really kind of relieving to be able to actually talk about this project that i've been working on for about eight or nine months now the reason why it's taken me so long to be able to talk about it is because we have been keeping it a secret from our girls if you are new here i am a mum of three daughters i have freya who is aged 10 and she has been recently diagnosed with autism um eva who is six years old and elsa who is four years old we are off to orlando we fell in love with orlando in 2016 so like three years ago now and we've been desperate to go back and i'm so excited that this may we will be going back so the reason i'm making this video is because it is a highly collaborative trip that just means that we are working with a lot of brands to make the trip happen and I just wanted to be completely transparent with everybody that is watching this and reading my blog and things like that just so that you know what we have been given how we are working with companies yeah just be basically transparent because I know a lot of people are not for this trip we obviously we are we are going to Orlando and we are actually going as a family five it's my husband um, myself and my three daughters and also my mum we are taking my mum along I'm gonna be honest with you it's a little bit because of childcare and also it is going to help us logistically when we are at all the different theme parks which I want to go on and explain in a little while. Freya obviously she has autism and sometimes gets a bit panicky around rides and things like that. My mum is going to be there so that we are one to one adult and child ratio and also if Elsa doesn't want to go on a ride we can still experience the rides myself my hubby and um, Eva because she's a daredevil so it's just going to logistically help us and obviously my mum is super excited about coming along the journey who wouldn't be so let's get on with the fun bit and letting you know exactly what we're doing whilst we're in Florida so obviously first things first we're going to the airport we are flying from London Gatwick with Virgin Atlantic we have paid for our flight ourselves they were about just over three thousand pounds for all six of us which isn't too bad actually we are flying out at about one o'clock ish i think in the afternoon and we will arrive in orlando at about five o'clock their time so we flew this sort of time last time we were all exhausted but we managed to keep the kids awake and go to bed at a normal time which really helped with jet lag so the first hotel that we check into is staybridge suites orlando at SeaWorld. if you don't know orlando very well there's a road or a street called International Drive and pretty much all the attractions follow the International Drive. It's like a long road and there's dotted bits, various places. We are actually at Staybridge for four nights in total. One of those we have paid for ourselves, but we did get a slight discount. We've got a media rate, so we haven't paid like a full price for that room. Staybridge Suites is about 20 minutes from the airport. We are actually going to get an Uber paid for ourselves from the airport to the hotels. And we probably will be using Uber quite a lot. We've decided not to rent a car because I think price-wise it's actually going to be cheaper. So whilst we are at Staybridge, one of the first things that we get to do whilst we're in Orlando Orlando is visit a museum called Wonderworks. Wonderworks is like a, it looks like an upside down house when you look at it online. We've never been before. When we were last in Orlando, we literally just did Universal um, Orlando and that was it. We didn't have time to do anything else because it was a last minute press trip. So we are firstly going to Wonderworks. Our entrance to that is gifted. I'm just going to be posting on social media and obviously including them in blog and video posts, which is pretty much what I'm going to be doing the whole of this collaborative trip is social media basically uh youtube videos and blog posts so that's i won't need to repeat that you know that the way that i'm collaborating is through those things wonderworks is a hands-on museum a little bit like the science museum in the uk in london if you have been to that i think there's like lots of hands-on experiments and things to see inside as you can probably tell from the name of the hotel staybridge suites orlando at sea world um, it is literally opposite sea world sea world are gifting us entrance to sea world and aquatic because they're part of a group. There's SeaWorld, Aquatica, Discovery Cove and also Bush Gardens. SeaWorld is a organisation and a theme parky type place. It's like a zoo for marine animals. I am very excited to watch the shows. I know it's a little bit of a controversial topic but I really do love that sort of stuff and I'm, I've seen lots of videos and things that I think is going to be an incredible experience for the children. So we have scheduled in a full day to visit SeaWorld and then the following day we are going to spend the whole day at Aquatica. Again, gifted entrance to that. Aquatica is more of a water theme park. I am a little bit nervous about it, but super excited. I think Eva is going to love it. Freya loves water rides at the moment. 
she's not too keen on roller coasters but loves water rides so I'm excited to see how she enjoys herself there too. One thing to note that when you stay with Staybridge not just because of me being there hosted when you anyone books a stay at Staybridge they actually offer a free shuttle bus to most of the um, local attractions so Universal and SeaWorld so we're going to be using the free shuttle to do that. They also very amazingly gift um, fast passes to anybody that stays at, at the hotel to go and visit SeaWorld and Aquatica so we're going to make full use of that. So after our stay at Staybridge we then move up to Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. There are lots of different hotels for different budgets at Universal Orlando and we have been in the top one last time which was called Lowe's Portofino Bay I think we were at. Um, this time we're staying at Cabana Bay Beach Resort which is a 1950s 60s themed hotel. There's a restaurant and a bowling alley and various other things on the, in the actual resort um, hotel and when you stay at Universal you can kind of hop into anybody else's hotel obviously not stay in the hotel rooms but you can go and use their facilities like their food and restaurant and swimming. Universal are hosting us for that Cabana Bay Beach Resort and stuff is complimentary and we will be there for six nights in total which is amazing um, we love Universal Orlando we felt that's the place that stole our hearts uh, three years ago whilst we are there though we are actually we are swapping rooms in Cabana Bay Beach Resort halfway through we are first of all staying in a family suite and then we are moving to a two bedroom suite which is going to be incredible it has a view the view of volcano bay which was being built in 2016 so we didn't get to experience Volca volcano bay universal are kindly gifting us a vip tour guide experience on our first full day staying with them we have organized to have our tour guide from before dawn who we have stayed in touch with and she literally feels like a member of our family and i'm going to be so so excited to tell eva that we finally get to go back and see her because i am not exaggerating she asks after her every single day for the past three years so I'm so excited to just see her again she's been an amazing support over the past three years for me as well so yeah we get to have another VIP tour guide for anybody that doesn't know what a VIP tour is at Universal Orlando basically you meet in like the tour guide entrance reception area they, they get to know like your ages of your group members and stuff like that you also get lunch included they basically take you under their wings get you to the front of all the queues also tailor your day for your needs basically and it's it's a really good experience we i would highly recommend it obviously it's expensive but i would highly recommend it recommend it if you are a newbie for universal orlando because we wouldn't have had a clue where we were going last time we were there if it wasn't for the vip tour experience and it meant that when we actually had free time to explore the parks after we'd had our tour we knew where we were going we knew what rides we wanted to do universal have kindly gifted us three day three park tickets there are three parks at universal orlando there is universal studios uh, islands of adventure and Volcano Bay. In our itinerary I have scheduled in that we will go to Volcano Bay on the first day after our VIP tour guide. I'm so excited about going there. Basically it's a water park surrounded by a big volcano. You definitely need to YouTube it or Google it because it looks incredible and we're very excited. Universal have organised for us to have complimentary meals. Two meals actually, two experiences. The first one that is on our itinerary is to go to the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. We did this last time. They have the most incredible freak shake milkshake things where they live literally put a brownie on top of a massive milkshake and the second one is actually on my mum's birthday which is really handy a Mexican restaurant that I don't know how to say it's like Antojitos or something like that I checked the menu they've got some amazing menu options for children and we like Mexican food so I think we're going to have a really lovely evening there and the food like I said is complimentary meal so leading on from Universal but sticking with the food category we are going to Pirates Dinner Adventure this has also been gifted the tickets have been gifted it's basically a theatre experience where you're watching a pirate show but you're eating your dinner. You order your dinner in advance. So I know what we're having. We're having like a chicken roast dinner. The kids are having like chicken nuggets with macaroni cheese or something like that. It's going to be amazing. Our tour guide Dawn, her son is actually one of the lead actors. So we have actually organised for Dawn to come with us so that we can spend an evening with her and hopefully the de that day as well because she's booked it off of work. So yeah, it's going to be a really lovely day. I'm very excited about that. As I said, things were gifted for that. And then whilst we're still staying at Universal because we're there for like six nights, which is like a whole week, are going to Kennedy Space Centre. This was one of Hubby's top things that he really wanted to do, but it's actually on the east coast of Florida. 
Canada. So it's about an hour away from inter International Drive. So we're not entirely sure how we're going to get there. Probably an Uber and it's probably going to cost a fortune because we will have to pay for the Uber ourselves. But I think it's going to be totally worth it. At the moment, Freya and Eva are, especially Eva, are learning about space. It's going to be a really cool experience for them educationally to go to Kennedy Space Centre. Kennedy Space Centre have kindly gifted us our entrance. Um, again, we've never been before and it's a bit of a bucket list thing. So, you know, hopefully we can figure out a way to get there. There are lots of different tour things um, that you can book, but my kids get quite bad travel sickness. So on coaches so that would just be probably ruin the day before it even started so that's why we're avoiding that if we can during our trip to orlando we will be paying for food ourselves apart from obviously the universal's gifted um meals and the pirates dinner adventure we will be paying for other meals ourselves we have decided to try and go to the mcdonald's in orlando because i hear it's like huge and there's a player and stuff and i think that would be a really cool experience for the kids there's also places that hubby has put on his list like wendy's um, um, I have asked for us to go to IHOP for breakfast at some point because they have amazing pancakes and I think it's actually quite good value. But yeah, like I said, those things will be paid for ourselves. So during some of our like quieter days, we are kind of splitting up the, the theme park situations with a trip to Gatorland. Gatorland have very generously offered us entrance. They are also providing a tour guide for that, which is going to be great. Gatorland, if you don't know, is a zoo I suppose for alligators they're not my favorite animal if I'm gonna be honest and I'm feeling a little bit nervous about our trip I think the girls are gonna absolutely love it and whilst we are there they Gatorland are kindly allowing us to do the screaming gator zip line where you go over the alligators on a zip line and we showed the kids videos of of it because they obviously don't have any idea about this whole trip we showed videos going oh this looks cool would you like to do that and Freya and Eva both said they would so I've put my name down hubby's name down and Freya and Eva to do the zip line my mum definitely doesn't want to do it and Elsa will definitely not do it so I haven't put her name down but we are all as a family including my mum going to be going on the stomping gator off-road adventure which is a giant monster truck basically going over swampland which i think would be quite cool our trip to gatorland is gifted as i just said i think it's meant to be orlando's top half day attraction so hopefully we will be able to use that day that we go there as a little bit more of a chilled out day on the day of gatorland we are actually checking out of cabana bay beach resort and going to check in going all the way down the international drive actually and checking in to stay sky lake buena vista resort village and spa that's such a mouthful <laughs> and we are staying there for four nights two of those nights are complimentary with the hotel and the other two we have paid for ourselves we have not received any discount for those extra two nights i'll explain why we have paid for the extra two nights in a minute so this hotel actually has a washing machine that's probably a really adult thing and a mum thing to get excited about but i think at this point in our trip we probably will need to wash some clothes so i'm quite excited about it having a washing machine in our hotel room it's actually more like a suite the hotel itself has a restaurant and a boat in the swimming pool so it's a great base for for adventures and for chilling out in the evenings. I actually have a complimentary facial booked with the hotel, the spa side of the hotel, which I'm feeling excited about, but I also feel really guilty about it because it's only me. So I'm gonna be leaving like my mom and hubby with all three children while I go off and have a facial. So the reason why we booked an extra two nights is the logistics of the situation. Disney, and I put on my special Disney top just for this video, have kindly amazingly gifted us i never in my life thought i would get this opportunity but they've kindly gifted us four day park hopper tickets to disney with enhanced fast passes we're getting like some extra fast passes than you would usually get when you book privately and i just keep having to pinch myself about that you all of these experiences are amazing but i'm a complete Dig disney virgin hubby has been to disneyland paris before but i'm a complete disney virgin it's one of those places that i always dream to go to yeah i just feel so excited about going to disney and we get four days which is why we booked the extra two nights because we didn't want to have to faff about with changing and switching hotel rooms halfway through the experiences of disney so it just made sense to book the extra two nights so that covers the whole time that we're at disney because disney have long days <laughs> it opens at like really early in the morning and doesn't close till like 10 o'clock at night we've been quite nervous about going to disney we are only there for four days which four days is an amazing amount of time but there's a lot to do at disney and when you 
Google it, yeah, there's, everywhere says that you need at least a week to be able to experience the full Disney shebang. So I contacted a VIP tour company separate to Disney because Disney don't really offer that sort of stuff unless you're talking about a lot of money. So I contacted a separate company called Michael's VIP Tour Guide and they very generously offered us a tour guide completely free of charge. It's, it's a gifted experience for the full four days whilst we're at Disney. Michael, Michael VIP Tour Guide basically takes the stress and hassle out of planning your trip to Disney but they also are there you you get a tour guide for the experience so you're not sitting there or standing there going what are we going to do next and how do we get to that place and where do we go there prior to you going they completely plan it for you they book your fast passes on your behalf they plan things depending on like your your group's requirements so the fact that Freya is autistic they're going to take that into account the ages of everyone my mum has motion sickness I've told them about the fact that we want to do some of the bigger rides but we want our main focus to obviously be on the kids getting the best experience yeah they're going to take all of that out all of that hassle out of the experience and also be there on those days to take us to the places we don't get any like special treatment we won't get to jump the queues or anything but they are there to kind of guide us through like a tour guide does I feel so much more calmer knowing that Michael's VIP tours are going to help us take the stress out of planning it because I was like full on researching trying to figure out what rides we needed to go on, what the best thing was to do, where to eat, that type of stuff. Whilst we are visiting Disney we will have to pay for all of the food ourselves because we are staying off site. I really wanted to book the Disney dining package but because you can only book that if you are staying in a Disney hotel which I think is a little bit unfair but it is what it is we are going to plan to take food with us and just have bigger meals in the morning and the evening instead and just kind of snack during the day like graze i suppose there are a few things that i've put on my bucket list of things that i do want to try out when we're there like the disney waffles some of the ice creams and things like that so we'll see our final few nights in orlando will be spent with windham orlando resort we are actually there for two nights they are complimentary we are being hosted by windham which is amazing and they have kindly organized for us to visit Icon which is a huge ferris, ferris wheel in one of the Orlando malls and in that same mall there is also it sounds ridiculous saying that in the same mall there is a museum called Skeletons which is going to be a museum about skeletons and bones and things I'm assuming this will be like a definite more of a chill out end to our holiday because it's going to be so full on so we actually finish our busy adventure with a night flight back to the UK so we're traveling obviously from Orlando airport to London Gatwick again with Virgin Atlantic we leave at about five ish in the evening Orlando time and we will arrive the following day at about 7 a.m in the morning last time we did the night flight I think most of the flights back are at night we pretty much forced the children to go to sleep and I know that sounds like terrible but because it was a night flight I wanted them to hopefully skip a jet lag altogether or at least for it not to be that bad so we'll probably allow them to stay up for about an hour of the nine hour flight and then we will pretty much take away iPads activities snacks and stuff and just say you're going to sleep and hopefully they'll all sleep as much as we can get them to sleep um, on an airplane so in terms of the content I want to create for this trip I have said briefly earlier but I want to be I will be on Instagram the entire time um, I am trying to document absolutely every little detail that I possibly can so I apologize in advance there is going to be a lot of content we've gone for a long time that's going to mean lots of content I am going to be like I said I'm going to be on Instagram so please do head over there and follow me my links to my Instagram are in the description box I will be creating a blog post for every single day that we are in in Orlando the, these will be coming up within the next few months it's not going to be all at once and videos I'm going to be filming absolutely every single day so yep there's gonna be a lot of content on YouTube I also want to be creating a packing video because I think they're really useful um, I've watched so many to give me ideas so I'm going to try and attempt to create my own one so that will be up after this video probably and then also because the kids don't know we're doing a surprise reveal for them actually on the day that we go and I know that sounds like a bit drastic but Freya has autism and I feel like if we told her now which we're quite a few weeks in advance now or even the week before we go I feel like she, she gets quite panicky and anxious if she's overthinking things so if she's got a longer time it's going to be a longer time for her to 
have these anxieties whereas when if i tell her on the morning she'll have the whole journey to the airport the whole time at the airport a nine hour flight to kind of settle herself down and i think this will work in our favor hopefully fingers crossed like i said we've got my mum so we are going to be one-to-one -one so we can give her the attention that she needs basically that is it i think and thank you so much for watching this video i'm sorry it's such a long one but i do just want to be completely transparent with everybody and i hope i have and i hope you appreciate it i'm so excited the next videos will be my Orlando videos because I'm filming this in advance to go up a few days before we fly so that you can all know that what is happening and head over to social media and follow me. I hope you enjoy my content and I will see you all again very very soon. Um, hopefully a little bit more tan than I am now.